feel good um, to see that excitement coming from, from some youth who otherwise might not have known they had a passion for it. Well, crime prevention grants are making a difference in our community in more ways than one. That's right, Lauren. And this morning, I'm showing you how the money in an Indianapolis is helping kids get behind the wheel of a bike. To kids, a bike brings newfound freedom. And for some, buying a bike isn't in the budget. But that's where the Earn a Bike program through freewheeling community bikes comes in. It's literally like it sounds. Children ages 10 to 18 work on bikes that need repairs to earn one that they keep. They are proud because they have accomplished something first, and then it's absolute joy. Executive Director Lanisha Clark says this year, Freewheeling Community Bikes got a $23,000 crime prevention grant from the City County Council in Marion County. Throughout this four-week earn a bike program, she sees growth in more ways than one. Um, they don't own a bike. Um, they don't even know how they feel about bikes. And then to see them leave and have passed a test and took a 16-hour course and can ride from, to the, from the bike shop to the Monon and, and, and have a dessert and then come back. I mean, to see the progression is just rewarding. Ultimately, it's rewarding for the kids who learn mechanical, social, and leadership skills. It's an outlet that some kids stick with through the apprenticeship program like 14-year-old Gabe Suck. He says he likes sharing his new knowledge um, with others. And basically to grow my skill as communicating and building bikes. With the momentum these kids find. I love it. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite summer camps, period. They speed forward from not owning a bike to biking around the city together. Leona Kaling Mankisler says she met her best friend through Free Wheeling, and now she feels no hesitation doing mechanical work as a girl. Gender has no limit. It's simple bike work like the ABCs, checking the air, brakes, and bike chain that carry children like Frankie Brownward far. I don't think a lot of people know because I had been riding bikes since I was really little and I didn't even know how to fix a flat tire until I was 11. But Frankie says she's used the skills since fall 2020, which have brought a sense of freedom during the pandemic and beyond. I just want people to know it's really fun and you should come here because you'd have a great time. So since freewheeling took off in 2009, it served about 1,800 young people in the community. And to be clear, the Violence Prevention Grant goes to Freewheeling's Apprenticeship or YEET program. That stands for Youth Education and Employment Training Program. So to go more in depth for you, the YEET program is a year-round apprenticeship. Participants are paid, trained in skills like bike mechanics, take an entrepreneurship class, mentor youth, and more. You must apply to be accepted, though, to the program. And we have a link at WRTV.com. Now the fall break camp just ended, but the next set of classes at Freewheeling will start in November. The exact date is to be determined. However, they have a bike donation day on October 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at their bike shop and on October 30th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Carmel City Hall parking lot.